Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, dear commit, dear distinguished guests, my friends and colleagues. It is a great honor for me to join this seventh virtual Billennial International Nursing Conference. So I'm here to represent my posters about factors affecting sleep quality in patients with lower limb fractures, post-coupon reduction, internal fixation surgery, undergoing hospitalization in Balinese hospital setting. So we start from the background. This post-operative sleep disturbance is an important issue to be considered in order to improve post-operative patient's functional status. One of the factors that may disturb patient sleep is pain during post-operative period. So as we know, there are many research previously about uh, assessment sleep quality, but these studies specifically and focus to identify the factors that affecting sleep quality in patients with fractures, especially lower limb fractures, post open reduction, and internal fixation surgery. Therefore, the aims and objective of this study is to identify factors that affecting sleep quality in patients with lower limb fractures, post open reduction, internal fixation surgery, undergoing hospitalization in Balinese hospital setting. Those factors are pain, medications use, it includes um, antibiotic use, generic or patent medication, the anesthetic, the lo local anesthesia or general anesthesia, and the analgesic. It's combined an analgesic and single analgesic. The other factors is stress and anxiety, fatigue, and work environment. So here we use the analytic associative design with cross-sectional approach and 55 respondents were recruited with consecutive sampling from surgical work in hospital in Bali. So the instrument that we use here is the modified Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index scales for assess the sleep quality in the patient. Pain, we assess the pain using a visual analog scale. For the anxiety and stress, we assess by using uh, depression, anxiety, and stress, 21 item scale. And for the fatigue, we use the fatigue severity scale. And the last one is for the work environment. We're using the previous research questionnaire to assess the work environment, including the air temperature, the comfortable of the bed patients, and the climate of the room and the noise. So from this study, we got the result that around 70.7% patient experiencing poor sleep quality while hospitalization. And pain has a p-value 0.002 in bivariate analysis. And here we're using a chi-square test for seeing the relationship between the dependent variable to independent variable. So this statistic means that pain has a significant relation to the sleep quality in the patient. And the other factor that can influence the patient's sleep quality is the work environment with pay value is 0.032. So we did the multivariate analysis using the logistic regression with enter method. It comes with the result that pain has a p-value 0.004 with odd ratio 28.482 with 95% confident interval, it means that in a multivariate analysis shows pain has the most significant or most dominant factors that cause the poor sleep quality in lower limb fractures, uh, patients post open reduction internal fixation surgery. In conclusion, most of the lower limb fractures patients are hospitalized, have poor sleep quality on the first day after orif surgery. Pain is a factor that most influence patient's sleep quality, where post-operative RF patients with pain had a 28 times change of experiencing poor sleep quality. This study recommends that the use of effective pain management are needed to improve patient's sleep quality. So it's a task for the nurse, how to combine or how to do the intervention, like, um, nursing intervention itself specifically effectively to reduce the patient symptoms like a pain so the patient can fulfill their need 
for sleep and rest in the night time. So it also will improve patient's functional system, functional status to do the post-surgery recovery more effectively and faster. So I think that's all for my presentation. Thank you for your kind attention and see you another in another conference again. Thank you.